This section covers how to use the instant messaging function. The Connect client, if permission is configured, allows instant messaging between individuals, groups, and multiple users. This is a function only available for internal system users. To send an instant message to an individual or multiple contacts, find the contact through your Contacts, Recents, or Quick Dialer search bar. If the contact is available for instant messaging, you will see a green circle around the user initials or an online chat icon next to the availability state. In our training scenario today, those indicators are not visible. On the contact card at the bottom, click in the message input field and start typing. You may use emoticons if you wish. Press enter on your keyboard to send your message. To add more participants to the conversation, click the Add Participant icon. In the search bar, type the name or extension number or choose from their internal recents and select the contact. Click Create New Conversation. Type your message in the message field and press Enter to send. You may also send instant messages to groups. See our Managing Contacts video to learn how to set up contact groups. On the dashboard, click Contacts, then Groups. Select the group to instant message via the hamburger menu. Select Start Group Chat. Type your message in the IM input field. Press Enter when done. Note, you may add more participants to the group chat, just as we did when adding to an individual chat. In a group chat, the messages are delivered only to the contacts who are available online. Your recent instant message conversations can be accessed by the Messages tab on the dashboard. This provides easy access to continue your conversations and an at-a-glance view of the last message in the conversation. To view the complete IM conversation history with a specific contact, select the contact. Once the contact is selected in the third pane in the Conversation History drop-down under Messages, your IM history is now displayed. To set up pop-up notifications for incoming instant messages, go to your Settings, select Notifications, and then Pop-ups. To enable instant message notification, select Show a system notification for an incoming IM. You may choose to also show the IM content in the notification pop-up window. And finally, select how long you would like the notification to remain on your screen. To add canned responses, in settings select IM. Type your custom canned response. When done, click Add Canned Response. To delete a canned response, select the response you want to delete. Click Delete. Now you have learned how to send and access instant messages to individuals, groups, and multiple users, and set up notifications and canned responses.